Hey, 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 this is Rosa at RCG Creations. How are you doing? Guess what we're making today? Rice Krispies cereal and marshmallow cream. So what do you think we're going to make? <laughs> Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> okay, so I've got a pot on the stove. Those are my dry packed potatoes that I did. There's over there and I did a I used a Presto canner, and then this one is my uh, All American, and we used golden potatoes and russets. But anyway, today's video is on a melting. Turn my heat on, my fan on. A melting. I'm doing a double batch because uh, we're giving these to our church friends and primary children in our Sunday school class today. Um, excuse me, I woke up early to get this done. <laughs> So hubby's still sleeping, so I gotta be quiet. Okay, so I'm melting three, oh, the recipe calls for three tablespoons of butter, um, one 10 ounce container of heavy, uh, of marshmallow cream, or you can use, I forget what it is, I think it was five and a half cups of the little marshmallows, the individual medium sized marshmallows. And then you melt them all down. So once the butter's almost melted, you add your cream, and you put it on low heat, and I have mine right now at three, and then we'll see how much more I need to do for that. Let me get my, I'm using my heavy duty metal. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Spoon. I'm going to spray this with some butter spray. And you want to butter spray your cookie sheet. So when you're done, you lay it all out, and it doesn't stick to everything, so. We'll get, I'll bring you back to that phase because next thing I'm going to do is the butter's almost melted is I'm going to add my cream. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add my cream in right now. And then we'll bring you to the next phase because I do want to make sure I stay within my budget time frame of less than 15 minutes for the whole project. Butter's pretty much melted. If you see my dirty oven, I haven't cleaned it yet. I still haven't even cleaned my pressure canners yet. I cleaned one of them. I gotta still clean the other one. Now this one is 13 ounces, but that's okay. If we go a little bit over, that's alright. I'll just add some more Rice Krispie treats as we go along. Because you'll know when it's really melted good and when it's not. You'll be able to feel that. Now this is going to be a messy job. Because I'm going to get my fingers all in it. So, now I'm just going to continue to do that. Stir and you stir, stir, you constantly stir so you don't burn anything. Okay, so I'll bring you back to that phase. Okay, I'm going to bring you in to let you see what the inside of the pan looks like. You see that? The butter and all that's melting. The marshmallow cream is melting. So you continue to stir, stir, stir until it's all melted. And then we'll go to the next phase, which is put it on the Add in the Rice Krispie Treats. Okay, we're bringing you back. I want you to see. See how all the butter is melted? And of course, because this was cream already, we didn't have to do very much. So it didn't take that long. So now we're ready to add the Rice Krispie Treats. You can see it's all melted. The butter's incorporated into the marshmallow cream. Sorry, I'm one-handed here. I'm starting with the other hand. I haven't got my tripod set up yet. Hopefully sometime soon. But you know what? It is what it is. You make do with what you got. And there we go. So I think we are set. I went ahead and sp I sprayed my butter spray all over the handle so in case it did something happened. <laughs> it wouldn't be all sticky. Bear with me. I'm coming back. Because I'm going to need two hands for this next phase. Okay, so I went ahead and measured out my 12 cups, 
and I'm going to, what you do is once it's all melted, turn off the heat. And then you, I'm going to move the camera around. I'm going to get my thing of butter, put my butter out just in case I need more. I'm in frame here. Okay, I am. I've already got my cookie sheet on the table because my back is killing me from yesterday's camera session. And then they just need to pour. Oh, I need another hot plate. I'm going to use my little glove, my heat glove. And I'm going to pour it in this one first. I'm going to pour about half of it in, in here, and the other half is going to go in the other one. Let me see if I can do this without spilling. I'm waiting for that last little dribble to dribble out. Well, this is good. This big pot can sit in this middle pot while I dump all. And as you can see, everything's just coming right on out because you sprayed it with the butter. Is that butter that's in that pot? It's not sticking to the pot. That's another way you know that it's melted. Usually I'm very, very frugal, but I'm not going to today because this is a time process. Oop. I'm put that on part of my stove. So if it dribbles on the stove, I just have more mess to clean up, but that's okay. All right, so I have to got to sit down. My back is dying. And excuse the move because I'm moving you over. So you can see what I'm doing. I may need another cookie sheet. I don't know yet. Let me angle the camera down a little bit. Okay, bring that back just a tad. Okay, I'm in. Let's start off with that one first. Oh, I can't really. Okay, so now I'm just going to stir everything in. I kind of measure three cups of Rice Krispie Treats in this bowl, three in the other one. But I may be off, but that's okay. But this is where you got to work fast. I remember how we use, we have more cream than we have Rice Krispies for the recipe, but I went ahead and added a little bit of extra Rice Krispies to equal off what I think would be the ratio that we need. Okay. You just want to make sure that all the crispy the, the cereal is coated with the marshmallow cream. And don't forget to dig to the bottom of the bowl. And then you're going to lay it on your cookie sheet. And take out all the goodies. Same thing with this one. I think this cookie sheet's enough for this whole batch. Just take a little bit of elbow grease because I've double batched this. I know this got more cream than the other batch, but that's okay. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I've got, see I've got so much extra cream. I'm going to get some more of our crispy cereal. And bear with me, I'm sorry for that. I'm flipping that camera over. 
to add to that. Because I know I have more cream. But I'm going to do it in little batches. Make sure that stays and doesn't fall and make a big mess. Okay. I'm going to stand up for this part. Because uh, it's starting to get hard. Still warm. But I want all the cream to get into each part of the cereal. Add a little bit more. Because what you want is you want the cream to coat the cereal. That way it stays hard. So when you cut it after it's you have to wait till it's totally cooled. Then you can cut it into squares or shapes or whatever you want to do. I'm going to put these in little treat bags to give to everyone. I'm not going to color coat these. You could have always added food coloring if you wanted to color these, but I'm not doing that. Our, our primary class in Sunday school they're 10 and 11 years old, so they're not really into all that kitty stuff. Okay, now that's coated pretty good. And then basically you just want to smooth this out. Oh, let me go get my buttered sprayed spatula. See my butter spray spectrum? And that's gonna make this go a, a lot. Yeah, see how, see how, see how it's leveling everything over because it's coated with the butter spray. And everything just, I think I might, you know, I don't know. Because I do want to make these a little bit thick. I think I might just, I might get away with just one cookie sheet. I'm just, whoops, got a dribble. Luckily I caught it in time before I hit the table. And I'm just using my butter covered spatch sprayed butter sprayed spatula to take it off the spoon. Okay, I think I can go ahead and pick up the rest. So I'm hoping to get all of this in one pan, but I might, I might not be able to make it. I don't know. We'll see. So let me put, squeeze that and move this out of the way. Oh, and I did go over there. See that spot? Um, I have to eat it. <laughs> and I promise I won't touch any food with this hand. Because these are being gifts to other people. Typically, I would stop what I'm doing and go wash my hands with soap, but this is a time-sensitive item. Okay. All right. Here we go. Turn this around. And move the rest of this. Because I cut, I want an even layer, so when I slice it, it's pretty much an even layer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to be just fine with one pan. Because again, like I said, I'm making these a little bit on the thicker side. Okay, so let's smooth this out. Let's 
get all these off of here. That's good enough. I can have that till they're gone. There we go. See, now I'm just able to move this over and make that a full layer of the size, the height of this cookie sheet. And then we just let it totally cool. And then we're going to cut it down, cut them into little squares. over. Oh, I've got a gap over here. You want to make sure it's pretty much all the way around the entire, oh, let me pull that up, up the entire pan. I'm so glad my hubby got me this new camera from Christmas. Was it Christmas or my birthday? I forget which one, but I like it because I'm able to look as I'm videoing because I'm not big enough yet to do any live videos. I would hope to be doing live videos, but I'm not big enough yet. I need some more subscribers, and I need I need some more view time from my people who watch my videos to get there. That's just part of YouTube's way of controlling everything. So I'm trying to make this as level as possible. There's a little bit more hump on it on the bottom, on the middle there, and I think this is a good, nice thickness. that turned out good okay it's 10 it's almost it's almost 10 o'clock I gotta get ready for church now uh, I get ready this will be cooled off I can do my dishes clean my mess up get ready and then get ready to come back I'll bring you back when I get ready to slice these up and I'll put them in the little treat bags okay we'll be back I haven't cut it up yet, but I used two containers of marshmallow cream. This is the 13 ounce, one and a fourth boxes of this uh, nine ounce Fresh Krispy Treats. And see the container, see how thick it is? So I'm still waiting for it to totally cool so I can slice it up and put it in treats. We'll bring you back to that next phase. Thank you so very much. I just want to be sure I'm in the frame. <laughs> I, have to turn my, I, I can't forget to turn that camera around. I just, it, it just it isn't sinking in. But anyway, so here we are with our Rice Krispie Treats. But I'm just going to put the, the goodie bags next. Okay, we're back. Got dressed. Here's put up. <laughs> got my baggies. I got these bags. These are 50 treat bags. I got these. But for some reason, they won't open. So I don't have time for that because I gotta go. So I went ahead and got a couple free slices. I just butter my spatula. Oh, it turns around so I can see the camera. Sorry about that. husband and wife are couples, they're going to get two. The kiddos are going to get a little bit bigger ones because they're for a class. I already taste them. They're good. <laughs> they're messy, but Oh well, they're going to be there. So I'm going to continue to do that, and then I'll bring you back when they're all done. Okay, we are back. I went ahead, I used two different kinds of ribbon, because I ran out of this one, and then I used plain ribbon. And I just cut it, 
and then just made them into little baggies. So this is for the group adult group, and this one is for our Sunday school class. And they're gonna get a nice little treat of these little marshmallow ones. <laughs> I think they're gonna be sugar high today. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and share. And we thank you so much. Take care now. Bye-bye.